praise our highest for prayer. Let's talk to God. As we want to conclude the lesson we started last week. Lord, deliver me totally. This month is month of prosperity. This week, even though today Sunday is prosperity Sunday. Any spirit, contrary spirit in me that will hinder my prosperity today and this month. Lord, deliver me. Let's open our mouth and talk to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, you said in your word, as you said in your ear, so you will do. What I said this morning, do than that in Jesus' name. Amen. You said in your word, you are able to do. Exceedingly, abundantly, more than we are asking or thinking according to your power that works in us. More than we have asked this morning or thought in our hearts, we will do unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. As I have said, we want to conclude our teaching today. On freedom from witchcraft. As you can see that the new pamphlets are being sold now. Get your own copy, buy for others, and God bless you. Buy for your children as well. God bless us as we do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Freedom from witchcraft. Let us say the memory verse together once. English once. Yoruba once. Yoruba Want to go English? I will cut off witchcraft out of the hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Where is it taken from? Yoruba people. Yoruba. I said, go around Yoruba. Want to go? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, we want to buy your pamphlet by now. We are giving us just one minute more. Buy your pamphlet now. If you cannot buy it now, so when we finish the Sunday school, you can see the teachers. Maybe your own class teacher, you can get in touch with him or her and buy yours. Because we don't want distraction during the teaching. Amen. Amen. Last. Teachers, please stop selling now. And you look stop and selling Sunday school you know pamphlets go. now. Please see your teacher today and get your own copy before you go get, before you go home. If you have not, not purchased yours. Amen. Amen. Last last week we started the lesson. Last week we started. Here yeah, we see divine warning against witchcraft. That God detects whosoever that is involved in witchcraft. And last week also, we, we are able to look into some ways through which people get involved in witchcraft consciously or unconsciously. And we thank God for the contributions of our Father in the Lord. Even the way he explained to us last week, so wonderful. 
This morning we want to continue where we stopped last week. Because there are some practical modern ways through which many of us get involved or enter into covenant with witchcraft unknowingly. Last week we saw that through food somebody can be initiated. Through gifts somebody can be initiated. Also we were told last week that through foundation that is congenitally through your parents you can be, be a witch and yet you do not know. That and that our father in the law explained to us very, very well to our understanding. Also, we were told that through friends, joining groups of people, Joining groups of people. Maybe as ministers. Seeking for help. Unconsciously they may initiate you. There was a story I was telling last week and some people saw me this morning and they said I should finish the story. About the man of God who was initiated by another friend minister. Because he doesn't want to wait for his time. He's, he's seen things as if he's too, uh, to get prosperity or for his uh, ministry to be going as supposed to be. It's not, it's not going smoothly. So is looking for help. Through that, he was initiated unconsciously with that man of God as he told him that I will take you to a night vigil of ministers of God. As they lean upon the wall, they just found themselves beside the beach. She was, he was surprised finding himself there. Because he thought the man of God was a true and holy minister of God. He was surprised. He said, no, we are not, I'm not continuing again. They said that is too late for you. It's either you do it or you die. He said, I've gone a long way with the Lord and to compromise this time. I prefer to die. I did not know who he was serving. That's how he will compromise. I will just see that the ministry was just going on fine with many members, this and that. Maybe a minister today ought to be the future. Maybe you are a minister today or minister to be. Maybe the Lord will still call you to the work of the ministry. When you see others, people that you started before and things are going on fine in their ministry, they are getting richer, they are having more members, and you who started before him or her, do not look for help where there is no help. The Bible says knowledge shall increase. And our, in our world today or in our own time, that is technology. We know how far technology has gone. And we know how, how, how the benefits we are deriving or advantages 
we get from this technology. And this true handset, we can be able to communicate very well with ourselves. Through internet, email, and some other ways. But disadvantages they give to us, especially as children of God, are more than the advantages. And through this means, many of us have been initiated into witchcraft or knowingly. But that's a practical and modern way we want to look into this morning to save us as parents and especially our children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are told in our pamphlet, that's on page 84. As of one in he says some people dabble in witchcraft out of curiosity. That is the paragraph one. Prying into the secret knowledge of the spiritual world. They want to get knowledge. They are so curious. They want to search. They go to internet, browsing, browsing, browsing in search of knowledge to know more, to know more. Not only that, reading books. Books that already initiated. Books that are not godly. Watching occult, occult scenes in drama and movies and home videos. And this is common today in our respective homes. All those dramas and movies, especially the ones that are not God, that are not Christian, they are already dedicated to the devil before they are produced, before they begin to sell them. The way you look at them, the way they, they, they act, the way they dramatize, the way they dress, all those things, when you continue to look, on, to look into them, you become choked, consumed with all those passion and interests. And you also begin to do the same. Sometimes there is a sister, sister tongue praise. Many of us might have heard about her. In one of the revelation, eh, she saw, she saw Christ coming in into her house. And when Jesus came in, Jesus was doing like this. This place is smelling. This place is smelling. Holy Christy, oh one only level. I wash it till you go one only level. No matter if you go, oh but it's nice. You buy it, but but buy it alone. But but buy it alone. I should not say I have swept this place. Everywhere is tidy. Why is Jesus doing like this? I will make my mother go 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 no yara. Mother to no le she. You know what they? Jesus now told the angels to ransack the house. Jesus was so far. One girl is picking up a tree. No le no. They now go to her shelf where she put her telly and all the CDs and cassettes and everything. And I say, the, the, the smell is coming from this place. It's coming from this place. And when they will check there, CDs that are not Christians. All those movies. They are CDs, they are cassettes, maybe music. You say, these are the things smelling in your house that defy you and your house. Boy, I need to open it up. Be serious, open it again. If I want to come, why it's on by the name of Jerry Toro? Say because they are dedicated to the devil before they begin to sell them hearts. To the people want to feel full sad, and they go to the people want to be seen in my time. It's the agents and instrument of the devil that are sponsoring these people. Is some people they will release meaningless songs and yet people will be rushing to buy it and is it that song that will be in vogue when you get there hearing the song when you get just everywhere it is that song do you think it's ordinary? They have been sponsored and promoted by the devil. And these songs and all these things have possessed many of us. 
pe kete ti a ba si ri pe ati nwo ewa kan to je pe emi kan to si lodi ti wonu aye wa to lado yato si emi olorun iru eni be wo si wa ninu egbe o so what kind of say do we buy for our children for our students iru right be ka wo la nra fun awon mo wa and you are here students listening to what you are saying eyin omo e wa ni bi en gbo ti an so what on what which website do you always go to Ori website wo le ma lo gan. Even many of you when you are in the church when message admission was going on it is that thing you will be pressing chatting doing all those things. You many of us will be chatting even hold old people adults will be chatting even with the person you have not known before you have never seen from you have never known from Adam chatting. Me ba ti ni she tell from that. Ni gba ti sin ba lo lowo papa ninu ile ijosin awon mo papa ti agbalagba na won bere si ni ma te ero agbe ka won ma ba won eyan ti won o mo re ni ibe kokon e ma ba won soro so people will pretend as if there is their bible they are reading inside their set elomi ran won ma di bon bi eni pe boya won ka bi be ni even while you are in the presence of god ni igba to wa ni waju olorun you are supposed to be in the presence of the spirit of god to ya ko wa ni waju emi olorun other spirit has possessed you that means to be doing that even contrary to where you are eh mi mi ran o ti gbe ro ere be wo lati ma so to lo to all these is the lord we help us in jesus name wa yo ran wa lowo ni oruko jesu i said the lord we help us in jesus name we ko lo wa yo ran wa lowo ni oruko jesu some people are already consumed with all these that a day they can't do without it awon kan mi wa to je pe won ti e ti wa wo nu asaye lo to je pe ni ojo kan won o le se kan ma se even in the night they will not sleep mi alegan won o ni sun in the night chatting browsing won kan ma ma te ro ni sha go to strange websites won ma lo latori website kan si mi they just want to know what is there won cha fe mo to wa ni be the lord will save us oluwa yo gba wa i say the lord will save us owo oluwa yo gba wa in the name of jesus we are told us that people they get initiated through looking for power to protect themselves awe pe ni pa se pe elomiran bo nwa agbara lati da bo bo ara re o ti wonu egbe ayi for in order to make money tabi boya lati ni owo or maybe with their problem tabi boya to wa ni ni issue they want the problem solved won fe ki issue ona abayo si issue they may be introduced maybe to a false prophet to a happily they give them something through that they get initiated won le wa mu won lo si odo wo li eke tabi baba la o ni pase ile yi won mu won wonu egbe so people through intercourse e lo miran nipa ibalopo with a possessed partner pelu enikan to je pe boya o si ni emi ai mo or those who are doing say a prostitution the sex workers tabi awon to je pe won sise ase wo do you matter be born again but the spirit you are possessed through them is still in you lo to le ti di atun bi sugba awon emi to ti wonu aye re ni pase ise to se ni wa pray me. very well and search our lives e je ni to je pe ni lo lati gbadura daradara ke awon di aye wa god just will purify us and deliver us e ke olorun ke o wo e wa ke ke o fi eje re tun aye wa se so shall it be in jesus name amen destructive works and evidence of involvement in witchcraft ise tin pa ninu ati awon ami iko kiko pa ninu aje sise Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Numbers 22, 6 to 7, then 23, 8, 19 to 23 is about the case of Balaam and Balak. Ninu iwe no meri ori keji le ni ogun eseke fa si keja tori keta le ni ogun ni eseke jo o so nipa itan Balaam ati Balak. Balaam a prophet. Balaam je woli. But he was called by a king Balak, king of Moab. Sugbon oba Balaki yen oba awon Moab o pe to come and curse the children of God. Lati wa fi awon omo Olorun re. He said no way I cannot do that. Wo bi pe rara emi ko le se. But we got to a time because of the Bible says rewards of divination. Pe n do wa ti akoko kan bi pe le wi pe o wa lo oro afose. rewards pe ere ere afose king balam sent rewards of divination according to 20, uh, numbers 22 verse 7 rewards of divination was sent to him won wa fi ere afose ronse si ni ni mary ye cause the children of god pe ko wa fi awon mo olorun re let's read from our pamphlet e je ki aka lati ni iwe ikeko wa In a general sense there are some manifestations common among those who are involved with witchcraft. Manifestation of any of these does not automatically imply involved in witchcraft. In the first place, a New Testament believer is not supposed to be afraid of being armed or secretly initiated into witchcraft since he is seated together with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places. 
When one notices a strange diabolical power of fulfillment backing up his words, and this forms a pattern in his life, which graft is in his life. Nebati ni yoba she a kesi a jejag bara kukun konti on ti orore lenyi lati wa se mushe ti e yi ba bere si fara won gege bi a kware ni no aye re wole je iran wala si she a wari emi a je si she ni no aye re. What you are looking into there is manifestations. How can I know that I I, I have the spirit? On ti an beya woni pe awon ifara won emi a je ni no aye eyan pe ba woni mo se le mo pe boya mo ni emi yi how can i know that i have the spirit of witchcraft ba woni mo se le mo pe mo ni emi a je e will not only in the spirit of witchcraft ki se emi a je nikan e will another unclean spirit ba pa emi a mo miran how will i know ba woni mo se le mo that is question 3 o ni bere keta he says, mention some manifestations common among those who are involved in witchcraft. Mention some manifestations common, common one. According to our pamphlets, yes. How can I know? How will you know? Ba wo ni mo se le mo, ba wo lo se le mo. They are in our pamphlet. They tell us some things there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, our hands up. What are the manifestations? Does it mean we do not read our pamphlet at all? Give to, give to my sister there. The artless and stubbornness beyond our own power. Do you know what the Bible says in the book of First Samuel 15? Verse 23. To buttress my sister's point. When we are stubborn, when we are rebellious, that means we are possessed with the spirit of witchcraft. First Samuel 15, verse 21. It says, For rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. Can you see? Is it in your own Bible? Do we see it in our own Bible? He said, and stubbornness is that is iniquity and idolatry. Nitori pe ishote da bi e shi afoshe ati agidi gege bi wa boboro ati iborisha. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we are stubborn, ni iba ti aba ni agidi. Even as children or students, ma pa gege bi o mo ta bi akeko. When you are stubborn, ni iba ti aba ni oreko. You are self-willed. You are self-willed. Self will. You have your own self will. Your parents correct you. And will be read by they tell you this is the will of the Lord. This is what God is requesting from you. You hear it in the Sunday school. You hear it in the Sunday school. But you had in your heart. You just want to do that which is your will. Though you may not see yourself lying in the night. You may not see yourself swimming in the water. But yet you are a witch. Because the Bible says. Stubbornness. Stubbornness. Is a sin of witchcraft. Not only our children, what of we parents? We are stubborn. We are self will. We are adamant. We don't want to change. Even in that particular area. You yourself, you know. Maybe as wife to husband. Or both of us. You know the area we are stubborn against the will of God concerning our lives. Concerning our homes. Concerning our ministry. Don't add now that and say that thing is too hard. I don't think I can be able to do it. 
person is, a, is, is in witchcraft. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I not one? Are you not one? Let's check our life this morning. Rebellion. Rebellion. Whenever we disobey the word of God, it is rebellion against God. Simple as ABC. For we are gathering two, three, five in the house of God as group. Rebelling against the church. Rebelling against the ministers of God. Rebelling against somebody in particular. Or you are being envious of somebody that is more gifted than you. Spirit of witchcraft. These are the manifestations of witchcraft. Yes, what other areas? For somebody to rejoice over evil. When evil happened to somebody, you are happy towards it. Very good. I heard as cash that ah, person. It's because of what he did to me. That was why God permitted what happened It's because of what he did to me. That was why God permitted what happened to him. You are a witch. You might not see yourself in the night. You might not be seeing yourself with a group in your dream. But because you have rejoiced against evil, you are rejoicing in oh, sin. Yeah. You are rejoicing over what happened to your brethren. You may not understand yet yeah, that such a person is possessed oh, already. No, 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 no. Another way shows to us that when we have evil thoughts, maybe you have evil thoughts towards yourself or towards another person. And evil power now back it up. So and it come to pass. Such a person oh, me, is possessed with witchcraft. Even if you thought so it was yourself, your mother, even as a child of God, the devil will not want to leave us alone. He will be sending evil thoughts into our so hearts. But as a child of God, we must not permit it. it. Ah, the moment we notice that evil thought has dropped in our hearts, that is not of God, immediately we have to wage against that thought and rebuke it in the name of the Lord and rebuke it with the word of God. But the moment we allow it in our hearts, we may be towards ourselves, towards yourself, or towards the, your family or any other person. As you are going, ah. That this, maybe this vehicle should get accident. Ah, okay. ah, this Okada should just stumble and break my leg. Such thoughts like that towards others. And it comes to pass. Do you want to say it's the Spirit of God that told you? You, you are still fighting. You still get hungry. It is the spirit of witchcraft. The Lord will deliver us in Jesus' name. When you see yourself that you meet with other people in your dreams, and it's oven, and it's oven. It's not the midst of the children of God. It's not that you have dreams or you see the revelation, you find yourself among the children of God. The program, the of God came down. These are, common, these, are, these are very, very common. That person should know that is a witch. You can manipulate and remotely control the decisions and actions of other people. They told that such person is a witch. Ability to predict secrets or future events without a personal relationship with God. Ability to predict 
Truly, some people they say we shall. Many people they prophesy, they predict. And it will be so. If you ask some people, are you born again? I'm born again. How did you know you are born again? Any well, moment I dream, it comes to be. pass. Such a person is not born oh, again. She, she, you still fight oh, to get you are yet to be a child of God. Is that the spirit of God? Some people they have a strange spirit. Familiar spirit that knows the truth. Like that damn cell that has the Venetian spirit that goes Since come and say the ministers of the living God. Those that show us the way of salvation. Is he not, is she not she I did not true ministers of God. They are ministers of God. And they are showing people the way of salvation. But we are told in the Bible that the spirit of themselves is using his creation to deceive people. Even the, prof the, the prophesiers. We prophet that prophesy. We the visionaries. We that hear the voice of God that says what we are saying. Are we such? Is it the Spirit of God that speaks through so us? us? At times it might come to fulfillment. Because that Spirit of Divination knows the truth. But it's our lifestyle do we have a relationship with God. If you discover that our life there is, is wayward somehow, and we now see some areas that some things that are manifesting in our lives, and you yourself, you know what you are doing secretly, it's better you go and search. Is this the Spirit of God? The Lord will deliver us in Jesus' name. And many other ways. Let's answer question four. Turn to page 86. Of Adam's pamphlet. Leave some wicked effects of witchcraft. That is what are the works. Of the witches. At one time or the other, maybe they have afflicted you. That you yourself know that what is happening to me ah, is not ordinary. Ah, it's the hand work of these people. Maybe upon business, upon family, upon education, and so on. Yes, what are the effects of this Upon human beings or children of God as well. Yes. Quickly, quickly. Is it only that my sister that is in the Sunday school? Our mommies and daddies. Mama, ti baba. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Biba oro aje ni yonje. Biba oro aje ni yonje. Destroying the business of one's life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kama, kama, jara soni. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fellow me. Fellow me, sir. Si te unyu ma ni anino, li ni ni yamale ni o. Bounding pregnancy and oppressing people at night. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They make somebody to be stagnant and be paralyzed in one spot for years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wasting lives. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I found out it was a dream. It's mommy about the downtown. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Troubling ones with their children. Make 
Hinder the progress of one. As we are sitting down, are we not seeing the effect in our life, in our family? And how can we be free? Maybe in our ministry. They are everywhere working. But as a child of God, we are being warned not to be a particular with them. The moment we see their effect in our life, how can we be set free? Maybe the Lord has permitted it for us to move closer to him. How can we be free? That takes us to defensive weapon for freedom from witchcraft. I would like to read some verses here. Psalm 91 from verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Numbers 23. Let's take note of that word. He that dwelt in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the whole mighty. Numbers 23. I want to read verse 21 and 23. When Bala called Balaam to come and curse the children of God, that is the children of Israel, verse 21, the response of Balaam to, to the king, to the, to the messenger he sent, let me read from verse 21. I mean, 20, 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he hath blessed, and cannot reverse it. He hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither hath he seen perverseness in Israel. Do you understand something in that sentence? Said there is no way I can cause them because they are, they are blessed of the Lord. Because there is no sin in them. There is no way their lives can be bewitched. There is no way their lives can be manipulated. Because they are doing the will of God. And what is that teaching us? Let me read verse 23. It says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. Which means as a child of God, if our ways please the Lord, we need not to be afraid of witches and all the works they are doing. Once we are on the Lord's side. We are running away from sin. We are obeying the commandment of God. Though they may try, they, they will not even be happy with us for the fact that we are doing the will of God. But yet they will not be able to prevail at all and at all. That's what you have seen concerning the children of Israel at that time. I also want to read First John. In that Zechariah 2, from verse 8 to 9, he says, says, they are apples of the Lord. So no evil can touch them. If I may have an apple of the Lord, of the eyes of the Lord, and you also, you are a true child of God, you are an apple of his eyes. And has not found sin in her. 
we truly repent all our, from all our sins on righteousness. If at all they attack us, they will not be able to prevail. Because the Lord will continually give us victory over them. I want to read first John. Chapter 4. Verse 4. He says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Even the witches and the wizards and powers of the of darkness. And your mom made your lawn near ye, and you see, she shall go on it or anything, bay no ye, to be do anything, bay, you know, I yell out to the penny, don't bay no me, or join it, don't bay no one law, don't bay no, don't bay no me, join it, don't bay no one, jay law. I want to read five eighteen as well. Say we know that whosoever is born of God, sin it not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one, even which is a wizard, toucheth him not. So why are we now running away from witches? That means maybe one way or that we ourselves are already possessed, our hands are not clean. But we are not clean. 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 If our hands are clean, we are not possessed with another contrary spirit, maybe of anger, of any sort. They will not be able to, though they may try, you may see the hand, but they will not prevail. That is one example in the Bible of seven sons of Skevas. In that Acts 19, they are not born again. They are not children of God. And they want to wage war against evil. They want to cast out devils. Do you know the response of the evil spirit? He said, Jesus, I know. Paul, a true minister of God, a holy man of God, we know. But who are you? Do you know that even those that have demons, evil spirit, they know us. If truly we are children of God or not. And what we carry, they know. Immediately they see you, you they weigh you in the spirit. The case of a man of God. He was ministering. And there was one girl in the in the in the congregation. Possessed with witchcraft. She just fired arrow against the man of God. The man of God collapsed and died. Uh -uh. The girl was surprised. I don't mean to kill daddy. So daddy has died just like that. She's not even, I just, I just, Said I should try him with this uh, just little arrow. So that's the end. So daddy has died. What am I saying? Jesus said, The prince of this world came to me and found nothing in me. When they try us, they do not find sin in us. They say that our ways are right with the Almighty God. Though they may send the arrow. Not it on one tower. If they the arrow, you may feel it. Then no touch of a body of an effect. You don't have any effect. It's like a personal experience. Let me share this. Somebody did one thing. And it can't show. And that thing was right. It's a very good thing and it's biblical. But in my spirit, I was not convenient. I perceive that a strong motive behind this thing. Though what the person did was right, 
What the person did was right. And now sought for counsel. And I prayed. And I took action. To correct the person that that thing you have done, though it is a good thing you have done, is biblical, but at this time it is wrong. Do you know what followed? I just saw a revelation. The person came to me and the partner. Do you think you will not suffer for this thing you have done? Do you think you will not suffer for it? And thank God for the boldness I had in me. You will need the revelation. I said, if I've done the will of God, if I've done the right thing, I'm not going to suffer. But if what I've done is wrong, not according to the will of God, let me suffer. And I woke up, I was just laughing. And I was expecting arrow. I was expecting suffering as they said it. But nothing happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm perfect. But the Bible says. If he had not found sin in us, he would become apples of his eyes. He would not allow the wicked to touch us. In the book of Psalms, he said, The wicked pursue the righteous, but the Lord will not hand him over to him. So where are you running from, witches? If you yourself are not one, how can we be delivered? Is to live a holy life. By the grace of God. If we live holy life, Satan will not be able to touch us. Because we are the apple of God's eye. We are highly treasured and preserved from all arms. The believer should be free from the fear of witchcraft. Though the people in the world may be held captive by them, they may be running at us, but we as children of God must stand still, must stand by. Question 5 asks us, what is the basis of the believer's assurance of liberty and victory over witchcraft? Let's answer it in one word. What is the basis of the believer's assurance? What gives us assurance of our liberty and victory over witchcraft and their works? Yes. Oh, yeah, sir. It's in our pamphlet. Praise the Lord. Firstly, true repentance. After that, you will expose your past to one another. Then you will ask God to give you the grace to live a holy life. Give to my sister. We are truly is through the death and the power of the, of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Christ's victory on the cross is the basis of freedom and deliverance from Satan and his cohorts. Therefore, for those who are genuinely desire to be free from witchcraft, deliverance is sure. All they need to do is genuinely repent of their wickedness, expose their deeds, as some people did in the book of Acts 19. They, they repented of all their evil ways. 
And all their charms and armless, they brought them to the ministers of God and were destroyed. So the same thing God is expecting us to do this morning. Mind you, we have been told it's not only those that are flying or swimming or eating the drink with other groups are witches. But if you are a soon angry person, that spirit is unholy. That is it. Unclean spirit. And whosoever has unclean spirit is possessed. You are a fighter. Backbiter, a liar, fornicator, adulterer, you are envious. You see, have idols that you worship. You love the things of this world more than the things of God. You are a witch. Because the spirit that possesses you is not of God. That means to do all those things is not the spirit is not of God. But it is an unclean spirit. That means you are possessed. If there is any of such in my life, that means I am possessed. So I need deliverance. Some people they do not have the spirit of God though. But the spirit they have is suspicious spirit. The spirit that suspects others. As I'm looking at this mommy, she wa she has a white uh, hair in a high lid like this. She must be a witch. <laughs> the way she's walking, the way she's behaving, as I'm looking at her, I cannot sit down with her. Suspicious spirit. That is not of God. It causes dissension. It causes fights. It causes strife. It causes hatred. Let's rise up on our feet. We want to go and pray. Now the question is, who is a witch? Who is a witch? We want to pray two points of prayer this morning. Deliverance for yourself, for myself. From witchcraft and from the works or effects of witchcraft upon our lives. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry, I'm told now that some people have some questions. Maybe just one. One question or two. Ibere konta bi meji. Oh yeah, who is the person that uh, that have question? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. I have a question to ask. Last week, several things were said, but uh, my question is this: Is it possible? For someone that is genuinely born again, genuinely sanctified, and genuinely and honestly filled with the Holy Spirit, to have witchcraft unknowingly. Now, if the answer is yes, don't you think this will begin to downplay some scriptural, some scriptural fundamentals, like like first, uh, like Colossians chapter one verse thirteen, and then Colossians chapter two verse fifteen as well. I want clarification on this. I bear it, see, I'm a rock on one bear, no, they will pay. She, oh, she, she, find it, oh, I pay, oh, to be out, to be in it, oh, to be out, 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Were you in the Sunday school last week? Share Were you under the study last week, sir? Were you there last week? But our daddy explained expositorily about this area. 
that somebody can be a child of God can be truly born again and may be possessed on our ears at times even as we were told last week even congenitally from foundation from, from parents and through, and through other diverse ways he explained to us maybe Holy Spirit will answer it. Mm. Let's read um, 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. I told us last week that this teaching is very, very deep. It cannot be exalted even for weeks. And uh, if one is to write books on this particular subject, it will take several volumes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's very important we really understand what the Bible means by witchcraft. Uh, the layman interpretation of witchcraft is different from what the Bible means by witchcraft. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In fact, if we begin to explain this thing as the Holy Spirit leads, that is, we need to explain deeply according to the Holy Spirit. Some people will even leave the church. And I want to tell you this. Witchcraft is a very common spirit. And hardly we will see any Christian that's free from me. I'm not even talking of unbelievers this time around. Believers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last week I started from teach from a doctrinal denominational doctrine. There are some people because of that because of people, I mean there are some people because of the uh, what they believe. Because of the administration that strength, they put people into bondage. Like say, well, in my ministry or in my church, you don't need another thing in any, in any other, other, in, in other places. I, I'm, I know everything. Anything you want to know concerning the Bible, I know it. Anything concerning your spiritual life, I know it. Anything concerning your, your, your uh, probably your challenge, your problem, uh, is. It's only, only here that God can do it. That is nothing like that. That is, you don't need to go to any, to, I mean, to see any ministers of God or go to any other church. No, it's not scriptural. It's witchcraft teaching. Witchcraft teaching. Well, that is the explanation of Holy Spirit. You don't need to see any other minister go, go to any church. No. Everything, you have everything here. It's witchcraft teaching. It's not scriptural. Read along. Hallelujah. Can human beings say he has, he possesses everything? 
Pardon? It's impossible. Kosheshe. As we have in the physical, likewise in the spiritual. Only God is omnipotent. And omniscience. science. Any other person, no human being. By this, many are in bondage. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's say for instance. I'm sorry to use my own as an example. As little as I am. God sent me to a big prophet. Even when I was even young in the, in the Lord, so God said, I was like, ah, if you do this, ah, they will curse you. They will, ah, no. I said, well, be, because of the grace of God upon me, I said, if truly God has sent me, his cause cannot have any effect over my life because God has sent me. And God will say, go, I'm the one that has sent you. And why? There are some things you, you may, some people may get to do for one reason or the other, and they believe it's right, or if it's right or perfect. And God will say, no. He can use anybody to correct you. And I will tell them that no but to judge your lord or lower me, they pay one for the Nick Palori, me to repair one for one machine, compare the Nick Pepe Apple Sell me wrong. So they bow on me. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. If it's a kind, where we have read a more a real fetty sword to the tolerance and partition to the receive from God. I don't know the grace that Paul has received from. Saul have received from God. Abi, at the beginning of his ministry or or kingship, clearly, Allah was anointed. God anointed him to prophesy. God anointed him to prophesy. Definitely, and so, Allah was anointed. Ben yen, because he could what possess. Abeko, shukon along the line, clearly. But what happened along the line? Out of pride. Nekwa ibiraga. Probably high high madness. Tabi ke boya oni o kongiga. Eminent. Me? Eminent to become somebody. I'm now somebody. That when you are my wife, you. Now people are worshiping. That my wife, that my London. Coming from London. Oh yes, I'm become somebody. Muti wa di eni ola. Kilechele. What happened? Another spirit is coming in. If you, if you are not watchful, you will be able to kill Sarah. We are possessed fully. We are like people loading the. Our best is shelled. And you now be doing contrary. That is how many prophets become another thing. So can see people like that. They should be better to learn your country. Or they are rubbish. Ah, I get you. Are you good? Praise the Lord. That is not what the Bible calls witches. That when me you see a old woman and you now tag that woman to be a witch. Rigidness, stubbornness, rebellion, witchcraft. In it. It's short. Eh? It was given. It's a yah the older a man. Hello, you know what? There are some people. In Monantie, the man looks up. Abaya, you remember what they talked about? No, no, no. No, 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 the woman that says it's his own, it's his own decision that, that must be established in the home, he will not be able to do it. So that's one example some time ago. We met for telecast program. At uh, the studio. At the studio. What happened to your wife? It happens that it is the husband of that woman that brought the woman to the studio. In the studio. Then in big ministry. It's a big ministry. The way he was commanding, controlling the husband. I was surprised. People are addressing him with courtesy. But she was just commanding. Why? But in your first only in real tears, we will be aware of what's on the telecast. We will tear to the Joko Sibayan. 
When the husband <laughs> wanted to correct her, the reply of the woman was that you are not even happy that you brought your wife for telecast program. That was the response she gave. One leg, when you will hear your bed, she spoke.
say with her spirit. She might be called a renowned prophetess, but she is possessed only a miage. Through the dominion of spirit, niye. To the fear, miage gaba lo fara wano ayere. The more you are filled with the Holy Spirit, the more humble you become. That is the the I am now on the I can do and not do. No. The Spirit of God, no matter.